up again my viewers welcome back to the channel watch like share comment and subscribe the bell if you're new to the channel gun seized doing stop and search a handgun was seized by members of the specialized operation unit on johnstown main road in Hanover. reports are that members of the police team were conducting a vehicle checkpoint vcp on sunday when the behavior of a group of men arose their suspicion the group of men were apprehended and the weapon found on one of the men. The weapon was identified as a Pal Mento Data 9mm pistol with a magazine affix containing 15 9mm rounds. The man was arrested and taken into custody. So viewers, that is the latest right now coming out of the news so we just want to know if you continue to like share comment subscribe hit the bell if you're new to the channel no evidence to support abuse claim yova cpfsa the child protection family service agency says the date it does not have any evidence to sustain allegations of serious personal and physical abuse at private christian boarding school youth of vision academy in st mary responding to queries from the loop cpfsa said it's first become aware of such claims three months ago having learned of the allegations that the cpfsa has been investigated the matter the investigation commands on march 27th yova was drawn into the spotlight by New York based non profit and children right lawyer Dwayne Pools who traveled the allegations which have since been dismissed as false narratives by one of Yova's director. So viewers that is the latest coming out of that news where they have been said that they have been blamed so 14 year old charged with double knockings of jamaican men in toronto canada a 14 year old male has been arrested and charged with two counts of murder and seven counts of attempted by the toronto police in relation to the june 2 shooting death of two jamaican men in a parking lot of the north albion institute in northwest toronto canada originally from St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica, where among five men who were shot and injured at about 10.53 p.m. on the night of the incident, Park succumbs to his injuries in the hospital shortly after while Gibbs died three days later from complications with his injuries. Why my viewers and my subscribers come like so everywhere Jamaica and go, them create problem. Everywhere Jamaica and go, they, they